going to help a friend and we're going to do a spring. Come on, I could use that because it's his trailer. Badge, you cannot do come on. Come on is my thing. So L, come on. Neil broke a spring on his trailer coming down from, uh, I think it was in Louisiana that we broke the thing. But anyway, um, I'm just going to give you the theory on this whole thing before um, we do the spring because they're not here yet. So what it boils down to is you have a, you got your trailer hitch here and you got an axle, axle, or a tire and a tire, right? Now, this measurement from this tire to there and this tire to there has to be the same. Okay? Now, when we we're coming down through Phoenix, I noticed that Neil's trailer, I could see down his trailer. It was dog tracking. Now, dog tracking means that you can see down the, it, it goes down the road crooked, right? And what a, I could see down the trailer. Now, when we come in, to uh, Texas, I couldn't see it. So it broke somewhere between Louisiana and Texas, is what I think. And I could see down the side. So the way to check and see, your this is what you call trailer alignment. And what it is, is you have your tongue here, and you have a tire and a tire. Now these measurements here have to be the same. And then you have another tire and this measurement there has to be the same. Not, not like I'm not even talking an eighth of an inch out or nothing. They all have to be the same or else it pulls down the trailer crooked or down the road crooked. So um, right now, this, tra this number here is here and this one here is minus one and a half. So this axle has moved ahead one and a half inches on this side, which causes it to dog track, okay? Now, on his trailer, he has a, uh, uh, two springs, right? This is fixed, and then you got a carrier here, and you got it on the back, right? And this is fixed. And then you got a triangle here, and the spring attaches to that, and the spring attaches to that. Now, this is what it looks like on an ordinary trailer when it's good. Right now on his trailer, it looks like this. There's a gap there of about an inch and a half. So what it done was the this here um, triangle a rock is gone up into the inside making this shorter making it lower because the trailer is about three to four inches lower on the left side and this is broken and you can't even attach that because there's a gap that much so what we're going to do is put two springs in it and it's an older like it's an old it's an old four or something so the springs are old so I don't like doing springs one at a time if you're on a budget where you have no choice, you can do it. I don't really like it. You should always do them two at a time. So what we're going to do is buy two and put two rears in, and then that'll give him one for a spare if he needs it. Because the way his trailer hauls, is most of the weight's on the back axle. So we'll leave that with you. We'll come back on it when we get the springs, and I'll show you how to replace them. Okay, we're underneath here, and you see where the broken spring is there? Now, if you look at the end of the spring, there's a little rust spot right here. That's been cracked for a while. So we don't know how long it's been cracked, but it was eventually going to break anyway. And then you see on the end here, see how that wear mark there? That's where it broke. See, it broke inside. I didn't about a four do that. I got, I, got a, I got a job for that. Give me, let me just touch it. Oh, that's a four leaf too. Look at that. Look so, at this. So. You don't have to worry, Neil. We got a spring. <laughs> so, hey, welcome back to No Legs, No Problem TV. Oh, sorry. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Neil. Wrong place. <laughs> anyway, we got the springs today. They come in from Phoenix. 
and we got them in. Now, this is a new experience for you because we bought these from Parker uh, Auto in Parker, Arizona, and they were cheaper than Amazon because we got our no legs discount. So that's why we got, so we got two springs. Now, I'm not gonna film this whole thing because I think that's boring. But what you do is uh, we're gonna put the broken spring in first here. And then see, they fit, Neil. They fit, yay. They fit, Neil. And then we'll take the other, because what the problem is, is if you take both springs out the same, same time, you're gonna fight like hell to get it in. So leave the other side together, Put this one all together and then take the other side apart. Save yourself a ton of work. And um, like I said before, the only reason I'm doing this is because this is really hard for Neil to get down and do it. Now, I'm not saying he can't do it. I'm just saying it's a pain in the ass for him because he's got to get down if he needs a tool. It's, that's why we're doing it. So um, we'll uh, put the springs in and we'll show you what it's like after we're done. Okay, so there you go. We got the springs all in two springs all the way across all torqued down new nuts new bolts new u-bolts and everything's good so uh we'll put the wheels on her and uh this should be almost done okay now you can see we got the springs in and you can you can notice the height of the trailer now is way like this we gained about three to four inches right here and see over the tires is even now before it wasn't so um yeah this is pretty much the springs now we put two in the back and they're both brand new and then we kept the old ones on the front so on the overlook uh, i hope this get you get something out of this 